All right, today I've got something that I'm extremely excited about. It's called an ultimate hacking keyboard. Or, uh, or so I suppose. It's supposed to be, this is supposed to be one I got for review and I haven't opened it yet. So let's, let's see what's inside. Wow, that is really pretty. Obviously this is not a keyboard though. Keys feel pretty solid right off the bat. I mean, the position doesn't feel like quite what I want, but I guess that's the uh, that's the beauty of it. You can reconfigure everything. Key cluster module, like a BlackBerry style mouse. It's pretty neat. So trackpad, nice. That could be a. Uh, useful. Those are Lenovo fans. So it seem familiar. And track ball. Nice, uh, nice smooth action. Pretty, pretty good. So I guess I've got my co work cut out for me putting all this together. Really just so well built. It just feels like it's just like another step up on keyboarding. It's so nice to twist things. You don't have to use a screwdriver or anything. Although I guess you could. It feels pretty nice ad actually adding that on there. Let's see, I believe you put these I manual it says something about pressing them in and then rotating them, so hopefully I can get this hopefully I can get this right. So oh there you go. Ah, yeah, not too bad. It takes a little force, but leap of faith, you can you can do it. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna have it I guess I don't know if they call this tenting or what, but it's pretty pretty nice. Took a little while to get used to this, I guess, but still, feels, feels like a pretty solid piece. Let's see what happens with this key cluster. Didn't really read the manual for this, but it seems that you just slide it in here. I guess it's got a magnetic attachment to it. It's not a real, real positive click, but it does kind of click in there. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't want to come out, so got that. Yeah, I, th I think that'll be really nice. Kind of like, um, you know, just if you need to like move mouse over just a little bit, a little quick, quick little action. I think that'll be a good, a good thing. So I don't know if you'd want to use both these together or just one. I may may take one off. We'll, we'll see how I end up using it. The keys themselves feel really, really solid. I wonder if I'm gonna miss the numpad. I, I don't know. I, I think there's a way to make it into like a numpad this way. So that's pretty neat. That's where the USB-C port plugs in. It's got a little str strain relief here, so you don't pull, like, pull it out. Pretty neat design, really. Just had a hard time figuring out where it actually was. So I reconfigured my key cluster using the UHK agent. And right here, I've got the escape key right there on the right, then I can the backspace and delete. And then for the mouse keys, what would normally be the mouse keys, I've got page down and page up. And this just uh, allows you to scroll up and down and left to right. That's the default for this little little track trackball on this and that works pretty nicely because the page down you know lets you go through documents really fast and if you want to scroll up just a little bit use this same thing with the page up and vice versa to reassign that you hit that and then you can uh, capture the keystrokes as a key press page down I can go up like this with the right key right key down and then oh missed a little something go up with that so yeah pretty pretty nice So I guess the big question is, how does it actually work as a keyboard? How fast can I type? So, so here I'm doing a baseline test with my Ergo keyboard, standard Ergo keyboard. And as you can see, I got a speed of 57 words per minute. Is that good or bad? I don't really know. It's, it's not too bad. 
according to the test. But uh, trying it out with my new UHK, my, t my speed actually went down a little bit. So 51 words per minute, that's not as good, but you know, trying out something new, you just ha have a little bit of a learning curve, certainly. However, after a few months, my typing speed did go up quite a bit. So it's kind of funny now that after I've used the UHK for, UHK for a couple of months, now I have my standard ear grow back on my desk and it really, really seems huge. So it's really nice having something so compact and I don't, I don't miss the numpad quite as much as I thought I would. I do miss the arrow keys a bit, but you know, it's all about trade-offs. It's just hard to believe that I had my mouse or my uh, trackball all the, all the way over here. It definitely is some valuable space and you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of an older keyboard, so I got to give it you know, give it that credit, I guess, for lasting for a while, but, you know, this, even the um, numpad doesn't seem that convenient here, and the O is, the zero is worn out, but that's, you know, again, it's, it's an older keyboard. You know, honestly, I, I guess I, I didn't, didn't know if I would stick with UHK, but I think I definitely am. To its credit, you know, the Ergo keyboard, I would definitely get one of these over a, a straight keyboard, because that definitely helped uh, eliminate some pain out of my wrists and stuff, but I think the uh, UHK is going to be really, really nice. At least I don't, I don't see myself going back anytime soon. Jeremy Cook here from the future, October 2023. At this point, I've been using my UHK for about six months. I ended up sticking with the key cus cluster on the left side and no trackball or um, trackpad on the right. This key cluster, along with the rest of the keyboard, has held up quite nicely over the last six ish months. At this point, I actually don't even miss the arrow keys that much because if you hit the mod key right here, it actually turns the I, J, K, and L keys into virtual arrow keys. So it has this functionality and you don't even have to move your right hand around to, to get to it. So that, that's pretty nice. I also reconfigured the keyboard's mouse key. It's got a little mouse key here that, you know, normally when you hit that, I think the, it's, I think it's the I, J, K, and L actually makes the mouse cursor move around. I didn't use that too much. So I turned that into a paste with no formatting key, which I, I use all the time as a writer. And also that goes into the reconfigurability of this keyboard, just the fact that you can you can change things around so much, which is a great function. I probably haven't taken advantage of it nearly as much as you could, but for some people, it would really really work out nicely. It's a, it's a huge feature. Obviously, you could you can change it or or hack it, as you might say, which it is the ultimate hacking keyboard. Overall, I think the UHK is fantastic. However, it is an expensive piece of kit at $320 for the base model, plus more for how I have it configured here. At the same time, the quality is unmistakable, and if you use a keyboard every day, improvement in quality can be can be quite valuable. So thanks for watching this. I, I was didn't really know if I do a review, video review with this or not, but I'm I'm glad I did. And anyway, hopefully you got something from it. I enjoyed it, so maybe you will too. So thanks for watching. This is Jeremy Cook signing off.